Well, I'm back. I'm back on home turf. Not really home turf, but my main fishing place, along with the Lincolnshire coast. Yeah, I'm back on the Yorkshire coast. I'm at a, a mark that I'm not disclosing because a lot of locals fish here. It's a, a bloody great hike. Um, terrible get down. You've got to pay 50 quid to pay for your parking. But, oh, a pet, look. One of them little jellyfish pet that you were looking for in, in the Lake District. And I found one on the Yorkshire coast. So there you go, Don. Oh, darling, I'm, try I'm showing too much emotion there about the wife, isn't I? So, uh, yeah, think about the light then, think about the light. So, yeah, I'm in the Florida Keys on the Yorkshire coast. That's what it feels like, anyhow. The beach is unbelievable. Got some good marks now, I have and uh gonna keep fishing them fishing in them and hopefully gonna keep bringing you some fish with uh, the help of my casting which is improving all the time and the luck of picking a good venue hopefully but yeah absolutely fantastic there's my gear got two rods but i have got a third so i've got three reels carried loads of gear now the burning question is is uh this chap here, who I do fish with occasionally, him, we need to ask him a question. Have you brought the bloody sandwiches? The, the thing is, I've brought sandwiches, right? Right, and have you brought the right sandwiches well, so we don't have one. a round fall out? Hey, <laughs> eh? what have you got? We've got cheese and piccalilli. You've got cheese and piccalilli? I only haven't put piccalilli in yours. <laughs> <laughs> what a bugger. He ain't put Piccalilli in it again. I'm going to have to have another five weeks away from him. <laughs> I've got, I've got cheese. We ran out of Piccalilli. So you had loads of Piccalilli. Oh, two jars. I put two jars and you didn't make me I one. I got sandwich spread. Oh, I like sandwich bread. Do you? I don't know how to trade it Well, they're like kids' bloody sandwiches, aren't they? But pick a lily, that's like man stuff. But you ain't. Mustard pick a lily. That's well. twice now, mate. Third time, and it's going to be strike, <laughs> strike off. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're fishing on the Yorkshire coast. I'll give you a show round. Those that know the area will know it. But, yeah, a lot of, a lot of locals fish this beach, and I've been told it's always the same faces. So. I'm not destroying that for them. Um, it's easy enough to find if you want to find it. You've just got to drive around, go on Google Maps and work things out yourself. But there you go. That's all I'm saying. So I'm in the Florida Keys on the Yorkshire coast. There you go, uh, Gordon. Nice little show around. And there's the Piccalilli monster. Always holding the pick of lily. Thought I'd give him another chance. But he's let me down again. I don't know. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. No, I won't. I'm waiting for my bait to defrost. Shane's already in. How's that for cheating, eh? He's already got a bait in the water. I've got two rods set up with two rigs. I've got a flapper rig on one. Um, and I've got a double hooked panel clipped down on the other. Normally fish a single hook to start, but I'm going to fish a double. And we'll get it out there. So I'll get this baited up. I'll bring you back. We'll cast out. It'll be the first cast. It'll be a flunker. And we'll take it from there. See you in a bit.
little bit of restriction on that one and uh, it's gone out a long way so it's fishing but yeah first cast second cast first third cast then I warm up Well, that's bat baited up, two at flapper. Got squid and uh, black lug and squid on it. Squid head on the top one. And uh, just a strip of squid on the bottom. Unreal, you heard that. I, uh, the first cast, I thought if I took the clicker off and did that, it's because Shane's out there, I'm fucking fretting, I'm fretting, aren't I? Panicking. And uh, just casted that out, left the clicker on, didn't I? And then, because I was a bit jarred off with the clicker being left on, I uh, didn't stop the other run, what little it was. So now I've got a clicker. Can you hear it? That's meant to go, dit, 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 but it isn't. It's just good because it's buggered. But oh, it's all right. I've uh, got three more at them now. So uh, let that be the last ever time I do it. And uh, I always check, but I haven't checked today. You see, on this show, you get all the cock ups. 
I don't even have to say it really, you know, it is what it is. We all balls up, we all do things wrong. Only uh, I don't, I'm not bothered in the slightest about showing it. So uh, yeah, show all my casting so it can all be critiqued. Make me sit in the corner of the room in the front room and cry. But no, that's that. So we'll think about putting a third rod out. She'll do that in a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a drink now and uh, take this top off because it is red hot. What on earth is that? Got a bloody bungee cord round my neck. It's not a new necklace the wife's bought me. I just put it on when I went over to speak to Shane to find out about the sandwiches. Now I just took them glasses off to take this hoodie off, didn't I? And I've put them back on. So yeah, what a crack and beach. Not very steep at all. You know. It's got to be the flattest beach I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, we should be having a good session here. I'm going to stick a third rod out in a minute. That's unbelievable. I never thought I'd do that. And it's going to have... Well, it's going to be for toot fishing. I've got some toot rigs. Made them up myself. And I've uh, got some mackerel. Which is the mackerel Andrew left over from Wales. Uh, we didn't use it. We used all the bluey and the sand eels and the squid. And the mackerel weren't touched, so I brought it um because I thought I can use that for some tote bait. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to today. It's a beautiful beach. It's got a good gradient on it. It's just unreal. We're the only people here because it's so early. It is now nine o'clock in the morning it's saturday the 11th of june as i sit here filming this and fishing here i've got three videos in the bank which i'm so chuffed about because there's times when the weather's not good and you can't get out and you've always got a video uh, it's the way to do it in my opinion it's about making it easy for yourself put a lot of miles in a lot of journey time it's not cheap especially now but i'm not going to get onto diesel but oh my god and uh yeah it's just handy to have one in the bank if there's a big storm or summer or rubbish weather which we shouldn't get you um you've got you've got a spare one ain't you? none of my videos are about a vlog about or whatever a vlog is what bloody stupid talk that is isn't it I'm filming a video of, of today of my fishing trip and that's it and uh, it goes out for other people to watch if they want to watch it if you want catch reports you go on Facebook don't you that's what Facebook's for but there that's only at that moment in time isn't it once you're past once you're five minutes past that fish are gone aren't they or they could still be there or they could be gone so that's the wind thought I had a bite then might have to move my box a bit closer. Definitely gonna have some water. And, um, is there some water now? I had some toast for my breakfast. Got up at 4.30 a.m. Out of the door by eight minutes past six. Don't know what time we got here. Met Shane at just after seven. And we traveled there. It's a good long walk here. It's not for the faint-hearted, I'll tell you that. Parking's terrible. Get down is absolutely terrible. And we're fishing the Yorkshire coast. For those that are in the know will know where I am. And for those that don't, I'm sorry. Just a little bit of respect for the local anglers that come onto this beach. That's what I'm doing. And, uh, I think Shane's doing the same, but he could have blurted it all out by now. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful, that.
Well, that went straight. Bit of squid come off though, but only one bit. So we're fishing three hooks, two with black lug and squid, and one with black lug. And I never formatted this card, so I've now got to go through, as Shane says, and delete, delete, delete. Because I like to have each trip on one card. Bait was still on me, flapper. It is windy, it'll be interesting to see what how good the mic thing is, but it's always good as far as I'm concerned. And if there's a bit of wind, I've got a part of it, so I'm sure you can with a cup of tea and a slice of cake. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> oh well. Give him a breather. <clears throat> right, we've got ourselves a white and but he ain't doing too well. Mine's flicking about. Let's have a look at him. He's a wriggler. Right, so, one good size white. I'll go get him back. Sooner he's back, the better.
Right, well, one whiten, good size whiten. So uh, he's gone back. He's uh, was on the top and then he went under and disappeared. Stopped there, he isn't on the shore. But I will keep an eye out for him because you know what whiten are like. He might make it, he might not. But he was certainly a regular, so I think he should be okay. Time will tell, but I always keep my eye open. Can't see anything. He definitely went. And if he turns back on the shore, it'll go him to the cats. So that's the blank done. Get this baited up and send it out again because that was a panel rig with squid and black lug for a ray. Right, let's get this casted out. I think that's only my fourth cast, but I'm still a bit ropey, to be honest. I did the same thing, but don't think I'm twisting, so I know what to do. Put a bit more rotation in. Well, I'll 
trying to get it out for you, buddy. Get the pliers. See his smile. One form back, Ray. What, two pound, two and a half, three? Oh dear, he's talking to me. What a fish. Let's go get it back. He's burping at me. Well, that's good, isn't it? That's two fish. Never saw the bite. Does that mean I'm not a fisherman? All on long casts. <clears throat> Have I finally turned the corner? Am I at the right spot? Is it the right day? Is there fish in front of me? Am I casting further? I guess it all ha takes a part in catching fish, doesn't it? But I'm certainly giving myself a better chance at catching fish now. That's two. Did I see any of the back? Shane! Did I see any of the bites? Did I see any of the bites? No. You saw it on yours? Yeah. I think Shane cast it over me. <laughs> so that's a white and good sized white and and a form back ray. So I'm chuffed. New mark, special location, need to know basis. You have to need to know, well, you need to know where I am. You have to work it out. Bit of Norfolk there, sorry about that. So I'll get this baited up, suddenly on a three up flat, but I've got a two up flat to send out. In fact, we'll do it straight away and get casted out. So we've got Shane at the minute trying to poach my fish by going over my line. Got to press and hold it. Right. Drama. <laughs> What's happened is, you probably saw my cast, the tip of the rod disappeared. Well, it went in the water and I went in after it because it disappeared and I managed to find it. I'm drenched up to my kneecaps. So Shane. And uh, yeah, I can only think with that ray, we got snagged up and I didn't, I reeled the line back onto the reel, but I never checked the tip. So it could have been wrapped round me eyes. I did a cast. The line has snapped off, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. The line has snapped I off. I might job. get that. I hope he's got a fish on. He's <laughs> got my special flapper on. Has it? Oh, I mean, ray bad. rig. And uh, yeah, it went that way and it took me rod that way. And I've got boots full of water, but I've got my rod back. But I've got plenty of molly player rods, haven't I, Shane? Plenty of molly player rods. We've already spoke about that, but I don't want to buy another section because you won't be able to. It's 
fucking manked up the gaddy. Right. It marks, is it? But no, it's just. Mm. No, it might be. I might have to uh, redo put... it. Right. Let it's me sort. Rubbing. Let me sort this rod out, and I shall be back in a bit. Might show you the water in my wellies. Oh dear, the good thing is I've just casted over all my rods, I think. So I've got to work out where that is. But the main thing is, as Shane's just pointed out, is I didn't lose the tip of my rod or my weight or my rig. So good things there. So we'll get things mixed about, sorted out, and uh, yeah, yeah, it'll sort itself out. Carson's going, it's good distance. I'm getting good distance. It's just a bit erratic. There's something wrong. It's happened to me a bit back and uh, I know exactly what it is. I'm not rotating enough. And when I punch pull, I'm coming over the top all the time. But, you know, I've just lost the tip of my rod. You gotta bear with me. I've just lost the tip of my rod. Can only happen to me, can't it? And it, things are happening you know these things happen so uh, yeah you get to see it all on mine because there's no bullshit on mine it's just you see if what you see if it's on film you see it I could have filmed me finding my fishing rod but I just wanted the camera turned off because I weren't in a happy place so lost good footage there really and uh, anyhow No water in there. That's because my trousers have soaked it all up. I was squelching in these boots. But, yeah. Well, it's up to my kneecaps, so it's wicked it up. That'll dry, the heat from my feet will dry that. Plus the drowsers will dry at the top in the other, any cotton. So yeah, what we've got done is up to now, we've had three crap casts, the rest have been all right. So it is an intermittent thing. We've had a whiting and a ray, whiting on a panel rig, clip down, and a ray on a two, three up flapper. So those baits are all back out again. I shall now get another rig set up with another weight on and uh, get it baited up and I'll bring you back in a bit.
and they're yeah. and they're waiting. Yeah. Check you out. Get in. We have Mr. Dogfish. So we're getting back now. <laughs> we're having a good session, aren't we? Even though I've got wet boots, uh, that white and didn't make it by the looks of it. Or it could be Shane's one. Bit of a awkward fish, aren't they, Whiten? Shane's just had, I think Shane, you had two Whiten, Shane. There's one floating. Right, and we've got Mr. Whiten. Let's get him back quick. Isn't it weird that we've got Whiten? And this dogfish is on the beach, look. And that's why you always check the beach line. Don't ever walk away until you checked it. Now that white and I've thrown in has gone. Well, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. <clears throat> now let's try and get this rod where I want it. Cast it out where I want it. Rigs are tangled, but sort that out and I'll bring you back. I'm not getting wound up today because uh, I'm not doing it. Right, so that's two white and one ray and a dogfish. So four fish, that's good. That's not one fish, is it? It's not just sneaking it out.
I just don't understand why the car's not going right, but that'll be for a moan and a rent later. I've not been practicing for the last couple of weeks because I've had a bad foot, really bad foot, and then I've been away. And I only uh, cast when I'm fishing anyhow, so. so perhaps that's it. Perhaps that's it. Right, let's get this reeled in, check it out. There you go. All that may rot up the line I was clearing, all off on the main line, but it come off easy because it's got loads of clay in it. So I ain't too fussed, but it was a pain. But I knew I had a fish on. So let's get Mr. Dogfish back. It's another one to the uh, tally. I thought it was a ray at first because it was so heavy, but it was all the main rock. There we go, see him swim off then. This'll tell this one. Yep, brilliant. 
Well, that's all the May rot off. I'll change the rig and we'll cast back out. See you in a Mate, it's a terrible, isn't it? Look at those fish now. We need some fluffers to take the bloody weed off. Don't want you to do any of that, just pull that fucking weed. Right, dogfish is in bucket. I'm now going to get my disgorger, get that out. And uh, yeah, what a day. Fish after fish. I don't even see anything on that, but it is a Ron Thompson accelerator. And I'm fishing for two, but there is May rot all the way down the main line. I reeled it in, it was still 30, 40 yards out, and I had 30, 40 yards of line of rot on there to where it goes into the water because the line just looks as thick as your finger so I'll get this unhooked I'll bring you back it's a bit of a trouble getting this weed off but comes off easy because it's got all this clay in it so uh, yeah quids in there really I suppose you can't complain I mean if it weren't for that clay it'd be unfishable 
So I'll get this unhooked and I'll bring you back in gear show. One dogfish. That was quite deeply hooked and I've bent my pliers getting it out. They're only aluminium pliers, so what do you expect? But yeah, one dogfish. Full of energy. Let's get him back. brilliant and pet there's one for you again more jellyfish for you so yeah he's gone away he went light across the top of the water like a serpent he's gone I've, I've can't remember what I've caught now I think I've had three whiting one two might have had four dogfish in a ray, but you know what I'm like, can't remember all these things, so you let me know at the end of the video and uh, have a count up, that'll be a test. Right, that didn't look pretty, but it went out. Went out straight anyhow. Put it back where it belonged now. Well, I can honestly say the weed is taking a toll a bit, slowing us down. But we're catching fish. Tango at the end of the I cast. Did, did, yeah. Things, you know. Right, mate, just mark. want to improve my cast, and that's all. But it's going further, isn't it? That went right out there, yeah. I tell you, if it oh, didn't have the clay yeah. in it, know, we'd be yeah. we'd be absolutely bugging. It'd be unfishable. Funny, it comes off quick with that clay, doesn't it? Yeah. Clear rock. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Look at that rig. Yeah, that's the rig. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the rig. 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 Yeah, that's I'm a free one, two dog fish in the rear. Right. They're about the same, aren't they? I ain't arguing with that. I'm not arguing with that. It's nice to catch, isn't it? It's nice, nice to have a catch. Yeah. But I've, started, I've started watching you now and I'm thinking, I ain't got one on that. The first two hours when I was here and I seen you reeling that 
waiting and then they're here and I thought, you know, I'm not okay. Surely I'm moving, I ain't having that again. It's just Scott Adel. Yeah. Scott, are you out right <laughs> out? <laughs> Next week Scott will be with you mate. Yeah. Wherever we'll be, some beach somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere, we don't know where yet. Yeah. I don't want to crap. 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 I don't want to Okay. I never really had a bite on this video. Oh, well, you won't, you won't in your freezer, will you? No, that's true. <laughs> Last time I used it, I had a crab on it, believe it or not. Yeah? I think I'm crab eating the crab. Oh, I just didn't know what to do. Certainly good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Plus we're fishing together for a change. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm gonna beach on our own. Want to be together? I can't believe there's no one else I here, can you? Yeah, no. Now I know there's a match on at Kilsea. Is there? But it's a it's a walk on match. You know what I mean? The back of the Kilsea, you you fish where you can walk. Right. So they're only limited to that that area. Do you know what I mean? Every time I look around, though, as the day goes on, that cliff gets steeper and steeper. <laughs> it's a big cliff, isn't it? It's, a, it's one of the big ones, mate, yeah. It's like Dimmu, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. Haven't been doing too bad with the old... Uh, not dropping stuff and <laughs> bait elastic, and now no drop it. And... It'd be nice to get in front a bit now, wouldn't it? And yeah, that yeah. weed to drop out. Yeah. No, that one's still up. But that's just a stick. <gasps> Did that in bloody flipping Lake District. Bait elastic all the time, innit, with me? <laughs> bait elastic. It's not even gripping this. Right, well, where are we at? I've caught copious amounts of dogfish and I've caught at least three whiten. I think I've had four dogfish. I had a dogfish, then a dogfish with a whiten, and then I think I had another dogfish and I've just had another dogfish on my toot rig. So at least my toot rig works. I've crushed a barb on that because it was hard work getting the, uh, they are quite ferocious barbs, so I've crushed that a bit. Make it easier for unhooking. He went back, all right. 
I haven't had any floaters. We've had one white one that I don't think made it, but what can you do? You can only do so much in there. I'm now going to have a coffee because since I've been here, I ain't had a coffee. But we're doing what we like to do. We're actually catching, and that's the main thing. Don't matter if a car goes haywire, we're air fishing. They're still going out a long way. That fixed bill that I just casted out with um, a whole mackerel on has gone out and we are there on it. Went out straight as well, but it's now gone round to the right. Are you going to the right, Shane? Good, because I'm swinging right to the right. There's a bit of drag on the tide at the minute. The time is, sit rep, sit rep. 13.20, in layman's terms, that's 20 minutes past one. So, we've got another hour before high water. I need to sit down, and if there's a fish on them rods, I don't care. I'm having a coffee. I'll reel this one in next. Should be bringing these rods in every few minutes to keep this weed down. But I need a coffee. I need a coffee desperately. Right, I'm having this coffee. I'll see you in a bit. It's been hectic. Shane's reeling in. My line's to the right. I'm hoping, because I cast straight into it, I should have. That's probably why I'm casting to the left, isn't it? So it ends up in front of my rods. <laughs> That's what I'm sticking to. What you got? Mate. Are you all right? One day, Shane. <laughs> Look at 
the line. I'm only chucking this out short now. I can't deal with three rods that. Hey Shane, ah. he knew it was how this May rock put the fish off. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone says it puts the fish off. Can't complain about it, it comes off easy, but there's just there's just so much of it in there. Yeah. I'm going to reel this in because uh, you can see what the issue is. I have got a fish. I'm right at the thing. Matter of fact, I'll leave you on. We're right there. There you go. That's why we use a free hook flapper. Right, three whiten. Definitely lost count now. I think that's six. Let's get him back. Did I see the bite? <laughs> of course I didn't. I'm that busy. To, I could have had two bites on these rods. We've been pulling weed off left, right, and bloody centre, haven't we? Bloody crap. Hopefully they'll go back, one of them's still laying out there, but they've got two choices, haven't they? 
mean, if I weren't air fishing, they'd be still out there swimming, wouldn't they? But that ain't what it's about, is it? I'm air fishing, so just have to take it rough and smooth. Looks like it's gone now, actually. They do sometimes lie there and then they'll get a spring of life. They were all jumping around in the bucket. They weren't in the bucket for long. They were never out of water for long either. So white and they're a bit like sheep, aren't they? Wake up one morning and they'll just die. But uh, yeah, what a session. So that's uh, six white and I think, four dogfish, one ray. Please have got the ray. Um, I'm not chucking that rod out. You can't believe how much may rot is on there. The saving grace is the weed, the clay that's in the may rot. But we're catching fish with may rot about, unless it's the weed that's doing it. Right, I'm gonna clean this line. I'll probably another 10 minutes cleaning that. Tom, will you please uh, fast forward that? I'm picking off weed off a line. If you can fast forward that bit and then put it back to here. Um, I'm picking the weed off and then I'll turn it back on. Just take forever. Just fast forward it a bit. Just chilling out from the GoPro. Just raged at it.
I just blobbed that out and it went too far. I only wanted to do a little tiny chuck. The weed, I'll say it again, comes off easy. But by God, there's a lot of it. Unbelievably so. So much so, you're getting all your gear ready. You're reeling in. It takes so long to take the gear off. I ain't got a rig done or out. Now I can moan about this and start going on, but I'm not going to. I just can't believe it's taken so long to get all the light weed up. When you pull it out after so long, you got 30, 40 metres of bloody whip may rot on your line. That's your main line, not your leader knot. Don't matter whether you've got braid or mono, it'll stick to it. Comes off very easy, I will give it that. It is may rot, it's got loads of clay in it. It must lubricate it. Got some fishermen down there. Half an hour before high water and there's some fishermen down there. Well, I'm surprised there weren't a fish on that. My rods look like they've ploughed a field. Unbelievable. They've, they've got clay over them before and messy, but not to that extent. I've chucked one out here and he went out 20 yards. It'll be in about three metres of water. I haven't seen any knocks on it, but then I ain't been looking because I'm pulling this flipping May rock clay off, aren't I? Absolutely cracking venue. Beautiful day. Good company with uh, Shane when he talks to you. You know, I think he's still throwing his strop about them fucking pick of lilies. He's got a smooth on. Got a smooth hound, look. <laughs> well, well done, mate. That's a nice one. I'm peeler. Hey, it's not as big as mine. Well, we haven't had a proper measure of it. It's warm as well now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well mate. done, mate. Proper drop back, bike. Is that on? Yeah, yeah. On the air rig. A drop bag rig. On the air rig. On the air rig? Yeah. Air? Air rig. Oh, right. I thought you said air rig. Give it a chuck. It'll swim down the beach, mate. Yeah, Gone. 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 He happy. <laughs> it's just been the best day ever, hasn't it? Uh, now I'm getting a bit missed now. No, it's not. Uh, I ain't that home. At the minute, we've had the same species, and now you've had names. And I've just pulled that one in, nothing on it. No, on it. So I had all that clay crap. Uh, Where's all your clay? I've just... Uh, the one not on that one. Was there not? On the one I've just brought in with the worms on. With was the that just so far? That was... That was in short. The, yeah, that was... Do you hear me tell? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, mate, there must be more there. Better get my crab on, innit? Oh dear. 
if that weed goes away, it'll be an absolute doddle to fish and we'll catch more because the weed's slowing me down, isn't it? Right, we'll give him a wash. One dogfish, another dogfish. I really have lost count now. Could be five. But we're after a hound, aren't we? That was in close. Right, we'll get this baited up. Um, I've got a crab and cat on, I might just chuck it out, but I'm going to chuck it out not so far. I am not casting out with this may rot out there, it's unbelievable. <coughs> Bloody Shane's got Covid. back in a bit look at that 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 there is a tote rig and look see the root who clip yeah that's how flip and good they are at times not even released release the bait look because it's all jammed up with sand So that weren't even fishing, was it? So some out there is just eating the bloody mackerel, laughing at me, aren't they? This rod's going away now. I'm not fishing three rods because there's too much flipping weed. And even though it comes off easy, it's a pain in the backside. Notice that my fish have dried up, don't you? Because I had to give the best spot to Shane. Right, well I was pleased with my rigs, my two. Huh? Are you on? Well, you shouldn't nick my spot, should you? And you cheated, you cast it out before me by about half an hour. Quite easy, I just said it. Yeah, you've got to look, you've got to watch these lads. What? Don't you hang on a minute, me. You had, you had your rod out there half hour before me, pre-baiting it. I bet you casted out some rubby dubby, didn't you? Oh, let's be right. You did. Cast that bag of rubby dubby. You was on the beach before me. It was his pick of lily sandwiches. <laughs> You were, I was on the beach. You was on the beach before. Well, me. on on the basis that I walked down the cliff first, yeah. Well, there you are, and then you choose you choose your spot, didn't you? And yeah. 
And I said, well, I'll fish here then. Well, yeah, like, but I didn't realise you'd go to the right. I thought like... you'd walk down <laughs> to the left. <laughs> there was mention of, as soon as I plonked me, that's down there, that, yeah. Oh, yeah, you've gone to the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good cut up. What? Absolutely smashed. I can't believe that whole mackerel was gone off that. And this clip and released. See, I, I replaced that with an imp because I was putting it on the ground. I didn't want to put it on the ground in the spray yeah, yeah. I shouldn't have just left it because that would have been fishing, wouldn't it? So I've had a bait out there all that time. Not a chance to catch them. So I'm going down to two rods now. Well, too I'd like to stop and talk, mate. I've got a, I'm getting bait also, do you know what I mean? Well, you would do, you're in the best spot, aren't you? Oh. You didn't see that when you had three fish before me, did you? Oh no, it was a shit how many you had? How many you had? No, I did. Yeah, you did. Look at that, that goes in the right hand. That's probably even. Gonna go rough. See that? Yeah, you want a bigger. One's boring out a bit, doesn't it, for the thicker yeah, line? I might drill them out. Yeah. Because they do. <laughs> 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 and then they got me in the fucking belly button. That'd be painful, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, Josh? <laughs> I'd rather have it in my tag end. Would you? Like a Prince Albert? I'm not glad to go. Oh dear. Right, well, all joking aside, we're having a good fishing catching day. I've reduced down to two re rods now. I did have a rod out for a, for a taupe. Still probably should. And I think I would do if it weren't for this weed. But the weed is just unbelievable. So, got to cut your losses, haven't you? And just enjoy the day. That's the main thing. Uh, So I bring that in. I'm gonna have a coffee. I'm having five minutes out, I'm having a coffee. But look at this for surroundings. There's some lads down there fishing now, right down the bottom. But what a cracking day. Beautiful spot. We're at hot, must be at high water now. Sit rep, sit rep. Right, sit rep. 14.38, that's high tide, isn't it? He's not a bad lad, is Shane, you know. Fish with better. <laughs> you got good airing, haven't you? Nah, he's a good lad. Can't let him hear that, though, because his head gets big as his ass. I'm only joking. You didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> I've apologised. I've apologised. Oh, nice Mind you, you need a big hammer to knock a big nail in, don't you, Shane? You do, That's what he tells me, anyhow. He's always telling me that. I'll have to ask you, won't I? Right, I'm having this coffee, and then what? Yeah, sit rep. So tired. It's high tide. our past two. We've been here for ages. This bloody weed is unbelievable. I'm covered in it. Fits all over me. Round my leg, I reckon. I'm only casting out short now. There's not much chance of getting a good fish, but I can't keep pulling off 40, 50 meters off weed because that's what it's like. It's coming off easy. Don't let me, don't let me lie about it. It's coming off easy. Um, and it's only because it's got clay in it. But yeah, coffee time.
some air. Shane, okay. I've never seen. I like it. That one didn't even hook. I know. It just taffled up. Yeah. 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 All yeah. three. All three. Look at that. Let's get these unhooked. A menage a trois. <laughs> hey, you get in front, don't you? And then I'll just slaughter you. Yeah, but you're only dogfish. <laughs> That's a fish, mate. That's a fish. They ain't white, you're white and <laughs> Cheeky bloody monkey, eh? What a cheeky monkey! <laughs> One dogfish. You know I've got three, don't you? Get him back. Oh. <laughs> hey, never saw the bite. <laughs> Proper no, they don't now. Dogfish white no what? That trap one nearly pulled over. That was my free up trapper, wasn't it? <laughs> Have a dogfish, that's number two on that rig. Seriously, I bet you've lost count, haven't you? I've lost count, mate. Don't forget, tell me at the end of this video how many fish I've had. I think this is the one. What's this? Oh, that's my line. I've got to untangle all this. Oh, this is the one that was tangled. You just come in with them, the other two. <laughs> yeah, this one. <laughs> I'm now going to give it back to its mum and dad, and yeah. you. It followed a bit, didn't want it? to leave it, did it? <laughs> Pretty little thing. Yeah, I love them, there. I think they're stunning. <laughs> Let's get it back. Well done, mate. Oh, And I thought it was going quiet. And because I cast it out short, not much, uh, not much may rot. So my line's everywhere. You won't believe it. It's like a spider's web. web. So I'm gonna sort this out, get it reeled in, bait it up, and chuck that again. See you in a bit.
Well, I've just chucked it out a long way, Shane, that. And then realised what the fuck have I done. Right. Like I say, I've just cast that a long way. And uh, what have I done? But there you go, we need a hound. So it's a, is it a spotty or a blonde? No, it ain't a spotty, I don't know what they look like. Because I've caught one. He knows what they look like. That might be. Right, everybody, what's this? Tiny eyes. No, no, thorns. no thorns at all. Is that a spotted? Even though I've already caught one, but they had huge spots on. Or is that a small eyed? If you could, because that'll help the species hunt. Look at his eyes. Yeah, look at its eyes. Beautiful. Look at the eyes, look at the, the eyes. eyes, look into the eyes. Right, let's get that back. There you go. Sorry about that, only a mother could love that, but I was just checking this recording. There you go, small eyes. Is it a small eyed or is it a spotted? Answers in the comments, please. That's what I wanted that, you know, another ray. <laughs> nearly he caught, nearly got you in the head. Chuffed to bits of that. It's what I wanted today is some rays and I've caught two now, so I feel vindicated. And two different sorts. First one was a form back. 
Um, that one's either a small eyed or a spotted. If you could help me out, there was no fawns on that whatsoever. Um, brilliant, can't believe it. Caught on a free hook flapper, unhooked really well. Uh, only on small hooks, size two. That's nothing to do with it, it's just crab hooks. I am knackered. I've just took painkillers from my hip. <coughs> and uh, yeah, well, I'm now gonna launch out that prawn and crab bait because it'd be nice to get home because Shane's had a hound. Um, and it'd be nice to catch at least one. We all like catching them, don't we? So uh, that's what I'm gonna try and do. Um, but if I catch a ray, all the better. Don't matter. And uh, when you pull in free dogfish on a cod rig, uh, single snood clip down with a pennel, and I catch free fish on two hooks, a hey, magic vern. That's who I am. Talk about the dab king. I've got him over there trying to catch more dabs than me, but he can't catch free fish on two hooks like me. Not the first time I've done it either. We'll see you in a minute when I cast this out. So I've just seen a tap on this rod, so I'm gonna bring it in. I've only tapped a couple of times. feel like anything. that in it I saw that tap has gone. Right, I'm chucking this out because I want another ray. Such, such good water out there, this is going to not need to go far. There you go, get this baited up and we'll try again. Uh, how long we're we gonna stop for? I don't know. It's half past three now. We'll see what happens in the next hour. If it pitters off and slows right down, then uh, we might head on, but we might carry on fishing. I'm not gonna yap too much. It's quite a long video up to now, but there's been fish in it. We've had a laugh. I've got another crab to go on there, full crab and prawn. That'll be the next bait out. See you in a bit. Shane's 
James Hound went into the line, so we need to reel this in past that again. And I ain't got another bait ready, so I shall uh, get another bait ready. See you in a bit. I've cast straight out, and it's gone to the right a little bit, Shane. doing close stuff. I was happy with that one. I've not lost it. It just went by the wayside. I've to put ibuprofen all on my hip. Weren't a good sight for Shane, I'll tell you, to look at me with my trousers around my ankles, but these things have to be done. Feeling a little bit better now. That's out at distance, that's crab and prawn. 
so might get a couple more out at distance try and get a hound might pick a ray up might not out at distance so don't know how much long we're going to be here i've only got this one battery left something's tapping on that rod it's a flapper rig i'm quite happy putting a flapper rig out if i keep catching rays on it so let's get this put back in the rod wrist straight once yeah. yeah, that's perfect but it went straight and it went a long way I've had two free cars in now short nothing so see what that does right we'll bring you back if I can't feel anything on it huh Oh, I can. Salting, are you? I've seen them all before, haven't I? Oh, right. Beautiful creatures, aren't they? That bloody hook was in. Look at that. Stunning animal. Is that recording? Yeah. Yeah. One smooth hound add to the species list for today, because I've caught these already. But yeah, brilliant. Squid and crab. Squid and crab, let's get in. Let's and get him back. And I saw the bite. And I <laughs> saw the bite and I had a slack liner. Oh, come on, my girl. Bloody brilliant day, isn't it? Got one more bait to bait up, and it's on that. It's on the right rig as well. So one more, and then that's it. Shane's packing up. He's just got one rod left. We've had an absolutely fantastic day. Um, 
Let's move rounds. Two types of rays. White and dogfish galore. Six white and forgot how many dogfish I've had. Caught three dogfish on one rig. But I saw that bite. How about that then? I'm now a proper, proper fisherman. Beauty cast. Well, thanks for stopping, Shane. No, you're uh, welcome, mate. You can't. Because I was so chuffed to get that last fish. Oh, well. Unbelievable. You deserved it, pal. You deserved it. But. Can't knock you. You've had fucking hound out there. Yeah. Round. Yeah, I've had a good day, mate. I've had a really good day. It's been, it's been the best day. Sea fishing I've had, I'll be honest. Yeah, well, you know why, don't you? You've got a fucking Midas touch with me, you see. You've got some of the rays. They go like this all the time. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah. Wonder what that clicker was going out. That was a fish, that one. That was, it was too small. Might be a ray. It might be a ray might on a it ray, now. Yeah. That looks like it's come in, doesn't it? Fucking glasses are good. Is it? It looks like it's gone to the It's gone to the left. Is it? I'll tell you what, if that clay went in, I think it would have just been like that gone because it would have been unfishable, wouldn't it? It's like they got back. Well, we'd have just come to the shore, wouldn't we? Catch a few more white and we ain't caught many. I can't even remember what we caught. That's the, that's the good thing. You know when you're there and you're saying this, that, You remember what you've had, yeah. I mean, yeah. I remember a few years back at Tunstall, my best video, I caught five fish. And they included flounders and bloody yeah. and the rain, the first yeah, ever rain. Yeah. But you know, today, two different rays, but we don't know exactly what the second one is. Yeah, well, that's great. It's been alright, isn't it? Yeah, How many hands do you have? Three or four? Three. That one fell off the yeah. In fact, we got a good one. Could have been a rain. Or could have been. It was just the way it was swimming on the sea. Come on, I'm a dog. You know what I mean? I thought. Because that ray that I pulled in the last one, that maybe spotted. That was a long way out, and it was up on the top yeah, straight away. Yeah, it could have been. Yeah. Until the mountain dog is, aren't we? Waiting. Oh, it's unbelievable. 
free writing on one ring. Oh, free dog dog fish. Fish. Free dog fish. Free dog fish. On, on two hooks. Yeah. <laughs> It's gone quick, hasn't it? Yeah. And when you start catching it, it just speeds up, doesn't it? You know, that's the sound then. Reel this in and click, didn't it? Yeah. Is it a rear? I think so, mate. Every ray I've had that makes my arms ache like. Yeah, this. yeah. We heard that bike, didn't we? We heard that one, yeah. We didn't have to see it, we heard it. Where you bloody lose it. Yeah, it? I know, yeah. Fuck's sake. I drag it up the beach. Got so much line shame left. in that back. Oh, look at that shit on the lamp. Can you see me leader? Yeah, yeah. You can see me leader? Yeah. Where? It's there. It is, yeah, right. You've got that camera pointing at it. Yep. You've got to be professional. I'm very professional. There she is. Look at that. You got me. Yeah, put the camera on the staff. Oh. Put the camera on the staff, me. There he is, look. See you, here I come. That'll be the wife. <laughs> That's a thorn back. That's a thorn back, yeah. Am I in it? Absolutely. One hound and one thorn back. Yep. 
beautiful. Right. Ooh. That weren't good. Let's get it back. There he goes. Well done, pal. There we go. Now I've got shitloads of May rock to pick off. And then by the time I pick that off, I'll have to pull this other line in. And loads of May rock to pick off that. Absolutely brilliant. What a day we've had. Slow down for me when Shane was getting all his hounds. Um, I got the spotted ray possibly, but it slowed down a bit, but it's come good in the end. Hound, ray, unbelievable. Right, I'm going to reel this in now. Nothing's bobbed on it. The last cast, I had the ray and uh, form back ray, and the previous cast was a smooth hound. So I'm happy as Larry. If this hasn't got a fish on it, so be it. Shane's packing up um, and we've got to help each other up this cliff and on the long walk back. So I think we might be having a bit of a sit down occasionally because it's quite a long way. And uh, I've just took more paracetamol than what I probably should take. So let's get this reeled in. And the May rot is back as well. Get in! Oh, 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 oh! Last cast again! Mr. Dogfish, look at that. Beautiful black eyes. We've caught on the last cast on the, on the Yorkshire coast. Absolutely brilliant. We are in between Gridlington and Easington. And caught on the last cast. Can't, can't believe it. Yet again. 
Getting like Man United, aren't they? He's gone. So, unbelievable, I've got all this May rot to pick off this line. But that don't matter. So, I've had that many fish. I've had that many fish, too many to remember. So if you can help me out, keep a tally and let me know what I've got, I'll try and do the same. I'll not ask anybody to do what I wouldn't do. But what a day it's been today. We've come to this place. Like I say, we've been wanting to come here for quite a while. Uh, got cancelled for this, that and the other. And we're here today. We've had a fantastic day on the coast. It's been brilliant weather. Bit of rain, but nothing major. And uh, Shane's caught a sackful. And if you've got this far in the video, I've caught a sackful. And I ain't even asked you to subscribe and view, have I? Do you know what I mean? And ring that bell. So we're at the end of the video as well. What's the point of that? I don't know. It's been a great day. We've had many fish, rays, white and dogfish, hounds. Um, yes, yeah, about it. So there's like four species, but we've had loads of them. Oh, I've had hound. I've had hound. So that's far. So what's that? White and dogfish, rays, hound. No, it's four, innit? Sure, I had five. Never mind. It's been a brilliant day. I'm a little bit excited, but that's to be expected. Uh, that don't happen that often. By the time I get home driving through these roads, that'll totally disappear, especially when I fill up with fuel. It'll just dissipate totally. So, yeah, this has been the Yorkshire coast. I'm not going to say where it is because there's a lot of locals that fish here. Uh, it's been absolutely wonderful. It's been great company, like you say, with Shane, as always. Uh, go subscribe to his channel, Holden's Codfather. Don't forget Hardcore Fisherman and my old mate Danny Shaw Fisherman. Uh, I can keep going on and on and on. There's loads more. There's Casters, there's Lloydie, all of them. That ain't what this is about. This is the end of the video. And what we're going to say is, is it's been fantastic having you watch this video. If you like it, click the subscribe button. If you don't, and you got this far, thank you for the view anyhow. It's much appreciated. But it's been absolutely one of the best sessions that I've had up to now. As we always keep saying, it's just getting better. All my fish have come at distance, apart from a couple. So the distance that I'm casting now is far greater than it ever was. Thank you, Alan, for that, or else I might not have had so many fish today anyhow. It's been brilliant. Next time you see me, I will be on a beach. Don't know which coast or what county, but I will be on a beach. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in honour.